The Primal Update is now live. I'm gonna go over all the juicy details and we're gonna start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, and welcome back to another video. So, Counterplay Games did some sneaky-ish earlier today without any notice and released the Primal Update, which is also update 2.4.44. This is a free update and contains a lot more quality of life improvements, new features, and bug fixes. Warning, here is your spoiler alert. You have five seconds to leave this video if you do not want spoilers. You have been warned. So, normally, when a dev is actually going to give us an update, they tell us at least a day or two in advance when the update is going to be released, but this time they didn't. The Primal update is full of tons of fixes from which I'm not gonna bore you with because in this video, I wanted to go over all of the good and new things that have come to Godfall, as well as some of the things that I predicted would happen and the things that I've noticed while playing the update. If you guys would like to read everything that they fixed, I will put a link in the description box below to the patch notes. So let's get started. First off, a lot of QOL fixes. Quality of life. That's all I'm gonna say about that. The Primal Update introduces a new loot category called Primal Items. These Primal Items are gear that are only in the Ascended Tower of Trials and give a huge buff to an item's primary stat. A 50% buff to be exact. You will know if you have a primal item if the frame of that item is different and it's a little bit more vibrant. You can get primal items inside locked chest inside the Ascended Tower of Trials or the ATOT. Drop rates for the primal items are 5% for uncommon, 10% for rare, 35% for epic, and 50% for legendary. Items that do not scale primary traits do not have primal versions. Along with the primal items, we got an in-depth and very detailed stat screen at the character UI. On the top right of the screen, the attributes icons have been changed and are a lot thicker with added symbols. The devs removed the combat and ailment chance titles and consolidated information under the new key stats title. Here, you can now find crit hit chance and damage, weak point damage, soul shatter buildup, Lifestone Health Recovery, Banner Over Health, followed by all of the resistances. I also noticed that a lot of the values have changed from my stats. Prior to the update, my crit hit chance was a lot lower and my crit hit damage as well as my weak point damage were both higher. With the Primal Update, we now have what is called Ascension Levels. Ascension Levels are a way to upgrade your character after you hit the level cap, and no, the level cap was not increased for the Primal Update. I said it wasn't gonna happen, and I was right. This is a free update, and level cap increases usually happen with a release of paid content. But, moving on. On the character UI screen, the fourth tab in is the Ascension tab. In this tab, you see the bonuses, powers, your Ascension level, and your available points. On the bonuses sub-tab, Ascension levels go from 1 to 30, and in the power sub-tab, Ascension levels go from 25 to 375. Now in the bonuses section, after you get 5 of 5 in one of the perks, the next locked level will be unlocked. You need 59,460 points to level up your Ascension level, and you level up by playing the game. You can get a total of 450 points of Ascension levels. This means that you can fill out all of your bonuses and you don't have to worry about specifically picking which ones to actually choose. As for the powers, it looks like you will be able to have to choose one or the other and you will not be able to choose both at the same time, but you will be able to toggle between them once you unlock it. Next, let's go ahead and talk about the Tower of Trials and the Ascendant Tower of Trials. Both TOT and ATOT have received a complete rehaul and they actually work a little different. Let me explain. There are quote unquote better rewards, new objectives, and events that change up how you play. Remember, the Ascension Tower of Trials is the only place you will be able to get primal items from. And once again, it will be inside the chests. 
there are now 30 trials instead of 100. One thing that we notice real quick is that we actually get a new set of boons, but we also get banes as well. In short, boons give you positive effects and banes will give you negative effects. However, the higher percentage the bane is, the better the loot that drops. And you can potentially get a might, spirit, or vitality boon every single time you hit the elevator, but you will only get a bane every three rooms. Speaking of the rooms, some of the rooms have challenges where they will lock your life stones so you can't use any or give you challenges like a triple control zone inside a room. I will admit, I wasn't expecting that either of those and it was actually fun. So well done counterplay games, well done. You can upgrade your boons and I'm sure the same goes for banes. Upgrading a boon pretty much makes that boon stronger. For example, you can go from having a boon that does plus 75% damage to bleeding enemies and then upgrading it for it can actually do plus 198 damage to bleeding enemies. That's a lot of damage. The devs also added the Alpha Rancor as one of the bosses inside of the rooms from which it was never in the tower prior to the update. Also, did I mention one of the most important things? We get more keys. Yes, my friends, we get more keys for doing each elevator run and room. I mean, they kind of need to compensate for all of the levels going from 100 prior to the update back down just to 30. There are also new prime enemies too. I don't know how hard they are because I haven't ran the ATOT long enough. And according to the devs, higher rarity doors have a higher chance to actually spawn. Thank you, because it was terrible prior to the update. Scaling though, is different. The higher you go in the tower, the harder it actually will be. And banes don't make it any easier. The Ascended Trophy is now awarded to people who make it to Trial 20, and prior to the update, it was at Trial 50. But with all of this wonderful goodness comes the bad. While doing the Ascended Tower trials, we still actually had boons that were glitching, where I was actually picking a boon and toggling a different one, and then you would see the cursor go to a different boon that I wasn't choosing. The game still crashed while inside the Ascended Tower trials, and there still is no joining back after you get kicked from the tower. Next up is Dreamstones. Like the Ascended Tower Trials, Dreamstones have also had an interesting rework. The Electrum cost for each Dreamstone is way lower than prior to the update. Boons have been completely removed from the Dreamstones, and Dreamstones will now reward you with stability and lucidity. The lower your stability, the harder the Dreamstone is. Mind you, there are no more modifiers for final bosses, and you can actually go straight to the final boss if you want. Now, when it comes to your rewards inside Dreamstones, Lucidity is a currency that allows you to choose the rewards during Dreamstone encounters and you actually get it by completing encounters. But as your Lucidity goes up, your stability goes down and when you run out of stability, you will be forced straight to the final boss of the Dreamstone. However, you can also use Lucidity to re-roll the rewards on your fights but each time you re-roll the rewards, the more lucidity it will cost. You can also upgrade a reward several times in order to get a better rarity on those rewards. For example, you can upgrade a rare weak point item into an epic weak point item and so on. We also have what is called volatile dream stones. These dream stones are a one-time use that can be found within the regular dream stones. And in order to get a volatile dreamstone, you would actually have to beat the original dreamstones even if you have already beat them before. And the volatile dreamstone will be given to you as a reward. And when it comes to volatile dreamstones, they have different rarities like rare, epic, or legendary, and have one to three random positive modifiers on them. Now, everything that I said about the regular dreamstones also applies to volatile dreamstones. Last but not least, let's talk about Xenon. I made a video about a week ago talking about Xenon as an actual vendor, and if you want to check that video out, I will put it in an annotation at the top right of the screen right now. Well, they did exactly what I was thinking. They made Xenon a vendor. He has items that you can purchase with Electrum along with other materials. 
His inventory refreshes with every completed story mission and when you beat a Dreamstone final boss. So, whenever you actually end up back at the Seventh Sanctum, I'd actually go ahead and go to Xenon and check its inventory because he will sell legendary items there as well. But know this, Xenon will never have any weapons with two primary stats or primal items, so it's pointless for you to try and wait for those. You can only get those in the Ascendant Tower of Trials. Before we wrap things up, let's go ahead and do a few honorable mentions for update 2.4.44. Now, beating Macros actually completes the mission and sends you back to the Seventh Sanctum. The resolution in the game looks a lot better and a lot less laggy in some places. There are new boss kill animations, which is pretty cool. And for the very last thing that we noticed, items that drop from ads or the bosses are a lot bigger and easier to see. So that is all of the new and important things that have came with the Primal update. If I missed anything that is not a fix or a patch, let me know in the comment section below. With all that said, what do you guys think about the Primal update? Are you liking it like I am? Or do you hate it because of all of the changes? Let me know in the comment section below. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video, and I will see you guys in the next one.